the first couple of days, we met a guy who has a like communist theater group in New Delhi. We met Dilip Simeon, who's like this amazing author and professor, and then um, Vandana Shiva, and that was all within the first days. And it was just like, wow, I can't imagine anyone like just coming here and being able to do what we did um, in that short amount of time. These are the people I never would have met if it weren't for the SAGE program, so I think it's a really, really great opportunity. People who had so little were just offering it to us. It's like food and chai, and it's just like, you know, I'm you know, the privileged American. It was just amazing, you know? And you just felt like a part of a community. Um, that was like something from the villages that just isn't there in our lives back home. You don't really understand what poverty is, or at least that level of poverty, until you actually see it. And going out in the village really changed my perspective of everything. But yet, people are still very content there, and that was something amazing to see for me. We went into the call centers and we listened in on their calls. Uh, There's one in English and one in Hindi with the guy that I met, and they were all um, very polite, um, very well spoken. And do they speak any other languages? Like no, in, uh, uh, in Indian, Hindi? Hindi, English, and uh, some people speak in uh, Tamil. And then they explain to us some of like their own ideas about globalization and some of the issues that they have to deal with. Sure. And uh, here, as this is a developing economy, so they also need uh, people who can invest in India and uh, generate employment. So it's uh, welcome. I've seen the effects of globalization on people who it's not really a good thing for, and I've seen it on other people who are strong advocates of it. Thank you for your patience, Mr. Stephen. Mall was just like America, pretty much. The group is very comforting. They they really get close, so it's like you have a family away from home. Being here at Navdanya and learning about um, biodiversity and organic farming has also been a great experience. And then the, the straw actually helps in holding it together. The students have also worked out in the fields, picking lemons, helping with the weeding. And that's been a great experience. I think they've enjoyed giving back to this uh, farm and also getting, a, again, a little bit more of an experience uh, than you would typically. So there's a lot of good times. There's, this group is just hilarious and we've become really good friends and it's just, it's just fantastic. So. The trip leaders are always looking out for you and us and your friends too on the, on the trip. Like It's good. It's like asking questions so you don't just fly through it and not really think about it and actually get down. Um, and think about what's actually going on with you personally and then thinking about the bigger picture in the world and how that's being affected by what you're studying and what you're seeing and what you're learning. I've learned from the villagers, many things about the, the villagers in, in rural India. I've learned many things about Gandhi being in his home country. Um, I've learned many things about globalization, being in Gargaon, which is vastly different from the village is vastly different. Um, the people themselves, the group, has been completely amazing. What they're really drawn to is the uniqueness of the experience and the depth of the experience that SAGE offers. This is one of the seven wonders of the world. It's a tomb. It's the most beautiful tomb in the world. Constructed in red sandstone, consists of an octagonal entrance hall, surrounded by small rooms, and it is 30 meters high. Okay. 
That's the Taj. It tastes really good. It's big and white. We like it a lot. Wow, it's really, really amazing. I don't think you understand until you come here. How amazing it is. This trip isn't for luxury, that's for sure. It's more for understanding and education. But it's been comfy. I mean, we've had some, though you might call it budget traveling, it's still been lots of fun. I thought I'd be dirty the entire time. But we've had access to showers everywhere we go, and I don't feel that yucky, although you do sweat a lot. It is really hot. <laughs> Great thing about this trip is that you get to have a lot of fun, and you get to learn an incredible amount. You get to really be transformed by your experience in India. No matter what, I think just the process of traveling in another place and seeing new things that you've never seen before will, it inevitably will have some effect on the rest of your life. I feel like they just set up a good program and it's like a perfect amount for three weeks and um, yeah. Parents, don't be worried. Your children will be fine. And this is like the furthest I've ever been from home and the longest I've ever been from home. So I also think that it's a chance for me to, you know, push my limits and grow as a person and experience new things and to see new things. And I have, but I thought it was really interesting. So I wish I could stay longer, but, you know, I have to go home. I think I've changed so much. I just know that I'm going to view everything so differently after having this experience. When we can change the way students view themselves and the world and what they want to do with their lives, we really feel like SAGE has, has succeeded in its, you know, its missions and goals. I think the conversations that I've had personally with Indian people, I think I've learned so much from that. And it's been totally amazing. I would definitely do it again. If you want to see India, I think this is a great, great program to go on.